Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to review MSI's 34 inch curved ultra wide gaming monitor. I bought this monitor a few weeks back and I uploaded an unboxing video on my channel. If you haven't watched it yet, check the link in the description. Moving on to the review part, it comes with a massive 34 inch curved VA panel. The curvature on the monitor is 1500R which provides great immersion. If you are used to flat screens, it would be a great change for you. And I have loved it so far. I used to think curved screens are a gimmick but they do feel more natural when you are looking at an area far away from your eye. Since it is an ultra wide monitor, most of the content on YouTube and internet will show up with blank sides. Unless you are watching movies which fits perfectly right in this ratio or playing games which supports this ratio. It has an RGB mystic light at the back panel but it is so dim that you don't even realize it is there. I would rather add my own custom RGB LED than rely on it. Coming back to the I.O., it has one display 1.4 port which can output max resolution at 144Hz and two HDMI 2.0 ports which can output max resolution at 100Hz. It also comes with a 3.5mm jack audio output. Sadly, it doesn't support any USB or Type-C outputs, which is common these days and also lacks speakers. Moving on to the display buttons, menu buttons are paint to control even brightness, let alone fiddling around the features it supports. I hardly use them to change anything as it wobbles whole monitor. Sometimes I even press wrong buttons when navigating through the menu. It comes with a stand with pivot, tilt, swivel and height adjustments. Moving on to the usability of the monitor, since it is a VA panel, it is supposed to look poor when viewed from an angle compared to the IPS panels. But it is not that bad in my case. Contrast ratio of 3000 gives darker blacks which looks great when watching movies or playing games with dark scenes. It has little to no backlight bleeding compared to IPS panels. Peak brightness is 300 nits which is more than enough if you are working indoors like me. It supports 10-bit color output at max resolution and max frame rates. So ideally it supports 1 billion colors which is useful for professionals. Pixel density is great, I can hardly spot any pixel when working from a distance of 2 feet. Lastly, it has adaptive sync but I have not tested it yet. I kept this review simple and short by not talking about UFO tests and all other tests which other view videos talk about. I personally feel they are too much information and confuses the buyers in making a decision. If you want me to talk about the UFO test, please comment down below. That's all about the monitor. Coming to the issues part, I have not seen any major issues with this monitor except some random flickering which goes away after switching it off and on. It could be due to faulty monitor or display board cable. Please suggest me in the comment section if it is something to be worried about. I got this monitor at just 39,000 rupees from Amazon. I have added link in the description. Prices of this monitor keep fluctuating, so you might have to keep an eye out for the price drop. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Until next time.